Okay. Well, I'll grab the glass frame. This style of glass frame, we only tape one side. You want to grab both sides of the tape, the half inch and the three eighths. The three eighths goes around the outside, the half inch goes on the inside. Doesn't matter which one you do as long as like they're different colors and that you got the outside. Then we got glass and bring it over and clean it. This one that, uh, yeah, this is acid etched uh, or sandblast, what you call it, but on your order form, you'll see that it says acid etched. Um, it's in the middle. Like if you're kind of looking at it up and down like this, you kind of look in this way, look in this way, and you can tell that it's right in the center. So that's okay, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, but usually it is off to one side, we put that towards the inside. We got a little sticker down here, so that's gonna go towards the bottom. This is our Elton band. These are all the screws we'll use on the clips. These are just some jigs that we use uh, to set the glass and set the frame in the panel so it just gives nice spacing so that you know that the clips are going to fit in after the fact. So we'll just pluck these around on each corner. Again, pull all the corners. It's like a handball or something when this happens. <laughs> Close up. Oh, it's playing the tip. <laughs> Just gonna swipe that over the seam, make sure it's all sealed up. Same as here. Try not to get too much out here so you don't get any squeeze out. I kinda do like an L-shaped back beat on it too. The good thing about these little clips is it holds everything pretty centered in there. So I'm not even gonna windax, I'm just gonna set it right on. So I can show you the movement. So I'll just slide it down over the glass. So we got about an eighth of an inch movement top and bottom. Eighth that way. So like I'm just gonna kind of center it maybe then set it down. up on the glass so that I can pull the tape after the panel's laid on. Here I am going to wind back to these outside corners just so that I can adjust the panel. And as I'm going here too, I should point this out. Kind of pulling that caulking back away from that edge so that it's not going to squeeze out onto the panel as I'm windexing. We should, we should look at the order for us. So we're looking at it for left hand and slow. When it ends, they go on the knuckles and two parts of the inside, not through the hinge. Right now, I'm standing on the outside of the door. And uh, on my lap. up this all the way around make sure it's all even nice and square in there 
it looks pretty good. These glass cutouts are almost bang on square all the time. So what I should be doing is putting my tape measure underneath to measure, to make sure it's all square, but uh, glass cutouts square. I'm just running off that. I can't fit my tape under that right now because I'm doing it on a flat surface. I mean, you can use whatever, but this is really nice. I'm gonna pull all these out, because now we're all set. Important step, put them back. everything in with these screws. The screws end up going into that screw track if you screw them right in the middle of there's a little line there. So we'll just drive right in. Now these, here's a tip too, if you look at this straight on, if I tighten this too much, this cinches up. See that? You don't want that because it's going to stop that other frame from going in. So you just want it just snug. Just tight enough so it's not going to move, but not too tight. Real Goldilocks. Something like this, I do about like three screws on the sides and like four across the top and bottom. of these corners opening up. What I do is I screw them together. So I pre-drill in through here, right into that screw track. And then I drive a three quarter inch can head, number eight in there. those clips. And it should go in pretty decent, like like almost even hand pressure. But I do like to give it a mouth to make sure it's in there. 